Hi YouTubers, it's Kalista, and I just wanted to say Happy Halloween! Um, if you're here, I just wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, like a news story that you hear pretty frequently every year, pretty much every Halloween. Um, you know, like, a lot of parents bring their children out trick-or-treating if they do believe in Halloween or Samhain, as the witches do call it. Um, they bring their children out and they don't check their candy or something. But, like, I mean, I know it's, like, good to, like, check people's candy or whatever to make sure it's safe. But I feel like they really just over-dramatize that whole situation. Like, oh, check your children's goodie bags for fucking guns and razors and knives and molly and shit. And it's just like, well, okay, maybe the whole weapon thing, I don't know. But, uh, drugs. The whole drugs part. If there's drugs in your candy bag, <laughs> give it to me because I know exactly where to dispose of that. <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, but seriously, on a more, like, serious note, um, what person in their right mind, what drug dealer in their right mind, what drug addict in their right mind would want to be putting fucking their drugs into a little kid's goodie bag? One, that's a waste of profit. Two, um, you could pro probably get high off of that shit if you are a drug addict, you know what I mean? Like, drug addicts fiend when they fiend, you know what I mean? And, you know... I just get really sick of hearing it every year. It's like, okay, like, I've never actually met somebody who's like, Oh my god, I found some fucking, like, type of horrible shit in my goodie bag. And, or trick-or-treat bag, whatever. Like, it's just crazy to hear that, you know? It's weird for me to hear something like that. Um, I don't know, have you guys ever had anything in your goodie bags or heard stories of close people? that were in your Halloween bags, like, any dangerous things or any, like, types of things that would be, you know, in the news and media outlets? If so, comment below, because I would love to hear your story. Over and out, Kalista. This is Halloween, 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 Halloween. Tender lovelings everywhere, life's no fun without a good scare. That's our job, but we are not being in the town of Halloween. Oh, oh my, I am definitely queen of the motherfucking pumpkin patch. Look at all these little lights and stuff. Trick or treat, motherfuckers! <laughs> well, actually, it's not quite over and out, because I would also like to know if you have any embarrassing Halloween moments, or any memorable Halloween moments, I want to hear about them. I'm going to share one with you right now. Story time with Kalista. So I was like 13 or 14 or whatever. Hold up, let me take all this fucking shit off. I was like 13 or 14, maybe 15. I think 14. Um, and I had a really big crush on this boy, and he was kind of like feeling me a little bit, but he wasn't like, you know, like... I was a little, like, boy back then or whatever, like... And I'm a grown woman, obviously, but... That's a whole completely different thing. Um... <laughs> Anyways, I really, like, wanted to fit in, and I, like, wanted to be cool and stuff. And so, like, for the first time ever, I think it was, like, Halloween, and he gave me, he was like, oh, you want some Skittles? I was like, oh, hell yeah, I want some fucking Skittles! I love candy! Of course I want some fucking Skittles. And they didn't turn out to be just Skittles Skittles. Well, obviously, he told me that afterwards, like, when he handed them to me. They were triple C's, and so, literally, I was, like, 14 years old. That's, like, a little old to be trick-or-treating. I was fucking robo-tripping door-to-door, um, with the dude, with my friend Shiloh, and with the dude, um, I'm not gonna mention his name on here, because that might be rude. We'll just go by his nickname, State Farm. Um, he was with us, and it was just... <laughs> It was memorable, it was fun, it was weird, it was just a crazy teenage experience. But you know, like, I'm also glad that that part of my life is over.